Hey, how's it going? My name is Esteban from Streetlights. Today we're focusing on the text of Zephaniah 317. For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. If we properly understand the context of what we just read, we see that God's promise to restore Israel comes after years of people offering praise to false gods and the evil behavior that results from idol worship. Zephaniah is a legit warning to us that worshiping our sinful desires takes us to dark and hurtful paths away from a good God. And let's be real. We've all experienced these bitter realities to some degree so we can relate. But one of the key lessons in Zephaniah that's especially seen in the promises found in verse 17 of chapter three is that God can restore a vibrant, joyful walk with himself for those who have turned their backs on him. But only if they return to him with true repentance and a humbled heart, ready to reject their sinful life and receive his forgiveness. This is only possible because of the work of Jesus on our behalf. God extends this restorative promise to all of us, no matter what darkness we are in. He calls to us as a mighty savior, it says, to recognize our polluted and selfish praise that often goes against praising God and living a holy life. That is the good news because all of us are susceptible to falling in the praise of our our own idols and selfishness. But God wants to fill your soul with love and joy through his forgiveness again. If you've been struggling with worshiping other people or things over our loving God, then turn to Jesus in humility today. We never graduate from repenting and recognizing our need for him. That's just a part of walking with Christ in in, in his victory over sin for us. Listen, sin and the character of God are like oil and water. They cannot be mixed or blended together. One must be rejected and one must be received. Sometimes we don't want to talk about repentance, but that is the door to receive God's forgiveness through Jesus Christ, the mighty Savior, which then leads us to joy and growth in a relationship with a good God. Ultimately, God wants us uh, reflecting holy praise focused on him. And that comes as Romans 12 also reaffirms from a life honestly lived before him in repentance and humility, step by step. You know, I'm praying God blesses you today with these truths. Peace.